Um, so I would like to talk about labels. Um, I had a few people this week asking me questions about how did I get started? Where did it, uh, where did it really sort of uh, trigger the, the beginning between uh, what was a hobby and then becoming more on the field of professional slash semi-professional um, and uh, I, I thought that maybe what I would like to share is about how I think uh, you can really make your way into that and there's I mean there's multiple scenarios but a lot of them often implies that you're extremely lucky so you have to be at the right place at the right time you know like to be known to be seen as uh, as someone great for what you do uh, you need to be heard by the right people and with the flood of music that we have it's a bit difficult to to kind of find your position in there um, so how do you stand out like how do you how do you really make it roll so that at one point it gets really interesting and my think is that you know if you want to be a touring artist um, if you want to be an artist that plays a lot of gigs um, a lot of people go in a club a few times and they want to become DJ but one of the most important trick is to live the club life uh, and know it like really know it both on the personal level where you meet people for fun you're there for the music you listen to a lot of music you you get to know how is the levels what what is a great DJ set what is a bad DJ set what are the great conditions to be in a club to as a person and also watch how people react to music uh, you know like if you're on the dance floor with lots of people and you have a lot of fun make, listening to music you get to be sort of um, submerged with the vibes of the music like how is the music contributing to that if you want to get signed by record labels so there's many options to do you can make really amazing music but it doesn't mean or it might not get to the ears of the person that is the right candidate to release your music on their, on their label so if you start uh, doing your thing and then you start getting some gigs and then you kind of get established uh, there's an also a good thing about um, living the, the 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 club life like I was saying is you'll get some friends and you get some important network and that network means that if you play a DJ set you won't have to uh, go after everyone and say please come to my gig your friends will naturally come hopefully they're they're friends and they're loyal but so these guys will come and support which means they also bring some people if they eventually like it and then you you kind of grow your your network and your followers organically and locally uh, I think like a lot of problem that, uh, regarding the the current state of how people send demos is that they make music and then they expect that they're gonna play out or they're gonna release a record and then magically there will be some gigs and people will be at the gigs and then they'll be touring you can't really expect that if you don't have your followers that actually shows up to your events so this is why you absolutely have to sort of have something organized and if you're not social what you need to do is you need to team up with other people that are social that kind of do the social part for you and it sound might sound weird but one of the best thing is to find another artist that is at your level or just a little bit higher let's say you're starting to be DJ you find a DJ that knows how to DJ and has a few gigs and by sticking out with them if they're more social they'll speak out for you which is kind of good because it it's uh, it allows you to focus on your music while someone else does something that you probably don't like doing 
in that sense, once this is established, then if you produce music, you already have a network as well, and then there will be a demand for your music, and people will want to hear it, and eventually some DJs, which might be your friend, will want to play it. If they play it, then it, you know, it grows. If you just release a, re a record or a release, and some people don't find a label, so they do it under their Bandcamp page or something, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem is it might not sell at all. And I know that for a lot of people it gets really depressive if, if you get there because you have the impression that you failed, but you haven't failed. It's just your music isn't known. And it's normal. I mean, uh, I'm, I have a certain following and it doesn't mean my music sells so well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't really matter. The thing that is important, and this is what I realize, is that I haven't focused on touring or gigging for the last four or five years, six years, maybe, maybe more. And because I've just been focused on making music, making things happen, talking to people, eventually um, it, there's there was interest again in, in booking me. And the strange thing about music is you get bookings if you have bookings. And so kind of like a catch-22. So people are not touring because they're not touring. And some people are touring because they tour all the time. But you have to just get that thing up of playing. And like I said, if you can be playing artist locally and then you have a following, then you'll be wanting to be booked more and eventually travel. Um, I know some people from Montreal, DJs that are amazing, never really produce much thing, but now they're playing internationally. So uh, I know it's possible and there's tons of people doing it, but you uh, growing the fan base and, and, and be there uh, at the beginning with your, your team is kind of a prerequisite. So in my case, what I did is I played live. I, I played DJ, wasn't really working for me. Then started playing live then got attention from labels because I was playing good gigs. And then because there was attention and getting released, then easily after that it was kind of like working by itself. Like once you have a foot in there, then other labels come to you and they want to work with you because there's people working with you. So, you know, it's kind of rolling exactly like gigs.